Hello and welcome back to Planet Nibiru. Today we will be discussing how the Svalgard Seed Vault, as well as other structures around the world, prove that something of planetary proportions is heading our way. As reflected by the recent and drastic changes in Earth's weather patterns, the number and size of earthquakes globally, and the number of active volcanoes planet-wide, we can surely see that something has changed in our corner of the solar system. Many say that this is due to global warming, which is based on some pretty dubious data sets. Others point to the fact that other planets are found to be heating as well. These other planets, specifically the five inner planets of the solar system, are found to be heating from their cores out. It has been mentioned that the planets could be heating from their cores due to the gravitational pull of planet X or some other anomaly that is causing the friction to increase inside the planet, thereby heating it from the core out. What else could cause the inner planets to heat from the inside? Many people who know me in my professional life and who are aware of my beliefs often ask me how a person who is intelligent enough to be a computer programmer and web developer can believe in such a far out theory as Planet X. This usually leads to a long conversation which, when concluded, often leads to my beliefs not being so far out there after all. Is it just the weather and the earthquakes that convince them? No. Is it the fact that the other planets, which as far as we know don't even have one single SUV on them, are heating from the inside out? Negative. It's usually the fact that I can prove, without a shred of doubt, that we are building deep underground military bases, FEMA camps, seed vaults, and underground tunnel systems that stretch across vast regions of the United States and more than likely Europe as well. I might not be able to prove what they are for, but I can prove that they exist. Not only can I prove that they exist, but the names themselves give away the hidden purpose in plain sight. The Svalbard Seed Vault is unofficially named the Doomsday Seed Vault. The TV show about the company that builds underground bunkers was named Doomsday Bunkers, and in almost all of the marketing materials that you can find for just about any bunker builder on the planet, they use the word Doomsday. Since we know that the rich, important, and famous don't very often spend money on things they will never use, it's probably a safe bet that they plan on using these bunkers, vaults, tunnels, and camps in this lifetime. We have all heard of the Svalgard Seed Vault, high in the Swedish mountains that contains a seed vault so large that it stores thousands of every single type of seed known to mankind. Up to 2.5 billion seeds in total. From grass to food, we have it stored away in case one day we need to replenish the world with greenery of all types. The front page of the Svalgard website reads, Deep inside a mountain, on a remote island in the Svalgard archipelago, halfway between mainland Norway and the North Pole, lies the Global Seed Vault. It is a fail-safe seed storage facility built to stand the test of time and the challenge of natural or man-made disasters. The Seed Vault represents the world's largest collection of crop diversity." Unquote. This is one insanely well-protected cave full of seeds if you ask me. What could be the need for such a place? We already have 1700 seed vaults located strategically around the world. That is over 5 seed vaults in each country. So why the need for a master vault of these so-called spare copies, so well protected, high on a mountainside, on an island in the middle of the ocean between Norway and the North Pole? If you ask me, you can look at their website for answers. It states, built to stand the test of time and the challenge of man-made and natural catastrophes, right on the front page. Then you have to ask yourself, what is the cost of such an endeavor? Well, about $9 million US to build, and who knows how much to maintain. Maintenance is funded by world governments and nonprofits like the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Use for the vault is free for end users so anyone can store their seeds there for free and when the time comes they will ship them back to you if you ask for your seed back to repopulate with. The first stone was laid in Svalgard in 2006 and the vault was officially opened and began accepting seed in 2008. The area the vault is built in has layers of permafrost so it never gets warm enough for the ground to truly thaw. 
The amount of tectonic and earthquake activity there is almost nil, so from almost all perspectives this is one of the safest places on earth to be. I find it more than coincidental that running the length of the facility's roof and down the front face of the entryway is an illuminated artwork called Perpetual Repercussion by Norwegian artist Daivik San. Norwegian law states that any project over a certain amount of money must contain art. But it's the name of the piece that strikes me in a particularly Planet X type of way. Since Planet X would provide in itself a perpetual repercussion of sorts. I find it eerily fitting. And if all that isn't enough to get your mind thinking, right next door, adjacent to the seed bank, is the Arctic World Archive that provides the same services for data. Kind of like Iron Mountain, but really on an Iron Mountain, for all intents and purposes. So, in all, we have two of the most well-secured, hard-to-reach, out-of-the-way places in the world storing seeds and data to rebuild life if things should, you know, go sideways. In the next couple of videos, we will discuss FEMA camps, deep underground military bases, bunkers for the rich and the elite, as well as an underground tunnel system that allows the Chosen to access coast to coast in a matter of minutes. If all that doesn't tell you something wicked this way comes, then you may as well turn the channel. Enjoy a cartoon or do whatever people that do that don't ask questions. Because the rest of us who can see the forest for the trees will at least have the knowledge that something big is on the verge of happening and that little head start may be the difference between surviving and perishing with the masses. Thank you so much for watching, liking, and subscribing to our videos. We will be back with another one soon. Hey folks, I just wanted to take a quick minute to let you know that our Spreadshirt store is up and running. It's a great way to show support for the channel and our search for truth. We have a bunch of cool Planet X based designs as well as some very cool pop culture and geographical designs that we think you will love. Our designs are created from some of the things that we love most. Our search for truth, movies that we love, and TV shows we grew up on. These cool original designs will make great conversation starters, especially if someone else recognizes the significance of the logo or slogan. So click on the link and visit our Spreadshirt store today. As always, thank you for watching, liking, subscribing, and commenting on our videos. We will be back soon with more great stuff. See you then.